isang masayang pagbati na may ngiti sa aking mga labi. Naghahanap ba kayo ng makakatuwang sa pag-review ng inyong anak? Meron yan sa DepEd. Ang Itulay Online Tutorial ay libre at handog ng ating kagawaran sa pangunguna ng OUA ICTS EdTech. Ito ay isang proyektong makatutulong sa mga mag-aaral, katuwang ang mga magulang o kasama sa kanika nilang tahanan para masagutan at maunawaan ang mga modules. Hangad din ng programang Itulay ang matulungan ang ating mga guro sa kanilang mga blended learning classes. Ang ating itulay ay mula kinder hanggang senior high school. Bukod sa academics, meron din tayong mga special programs. Gaya ng All is Wellness, Reading and Math Remediation, Storytelling, Mommy Tech Talks, Classes sa Gramatika, Speech Class, Financial Literacy, at marami pang iba. Pinalawig din ng itulay ang ating alive program para sa mga mag-aaral mula grade 1 hanggang grade 3. Gayun din ay mayroon tayong ALS program at SPED tutorials na makasisigurong makakamit ng lahat ang inclusive education. May SPED hotline na rin para sa inyong mga katanungan patungkol sa special education. Kaya, subaybayan mula lunes hanggang biyernes Mula ikasyam ng umaga hanggang ikapito ng gabi ang ating itulay. Sa ating pagtutulungan, maiaangat natin ang bawat isa. Ating itutulay ang pagkatuto upang di mapigil ang pag-aaral ng kabataang Pilipino. Itulay natin ito, Sulong Edukalidad. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulay, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and SPED learners. Aside from answering the modules, The Itulay is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulay will bridge the gap where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Hello, good afternoon Hello. sa ating lahat. Good afternoon, Sir Jess. Good afternoon, Susan. How are you? Uh, I'm great, Sir Jess. What about you? Kumusta yung hapon mo? Oh, okay lang. Kasi, you know what? I'm, uh, you're attending, no? It's research, research, ito, presentation. <laughs> Katatapos oh. lang namin. <laughs> oh, I see. So, how was it, Sir Jess? Yeah. It was great. It was fun and have the learning in, in research because we're now in stage five and we're going to have our stage six and then research congress very soon. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, that's good to hear, Sir Jess. I think you yes. love research, Jess. I I think <laughs> and I believe. <laughs> yeah, I love research. You know what? I'm studying now, qualitative research and. <laughs> so I'm like I'm just enjoying myself, even if I will have this busy schedule. But you have to see that uh, our learners are still be there, you know, and to uh, cooper uh, cooperate with us, no, in our session here in our Italy. And thank you so much in our Italy tutorial because we are okay awarded us most yes. uh, okay and them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, congratulations. That's right, sir, yes, congratulations, <laughs> ating dalawa best tandem award. Yes. yes, and also of you, no, be a creative tutor. Congratulations, yes. tutors, and I'm very proud of you, and I'm very <laughs> proud to all our team, no, in our senior high school English department. 
Oh, Alright, Chitter Zen, so this is now our ch- yes. quarter two. Ano mm-hmm. bang ginanda natin, Chitter Zen? Yes, that's right, Sir Jess. And by the way, to all mm-hmm. our viewers at this moment, good afternoon once again. And it's Tuesday. Hello, it's Choose English Day. <laughs> so magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. And also, yeah. let me use this opportunity, Sir Jess, to greet all the uh, some individuals from our division, Division of Agusan del Sur, for um, the... Yes, for acknowledging uh, the recognition that I have received from Itolai Ola tutorial. So thank you so much. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Yes. 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 That's our goal. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes that's right. Our yes. That's right. And of course, our uh, learners, especially the senior high school learners, welcome once again to this second quarter of the reading and writing mm-hmm. skills subject. All right, and shout yeah. out na pala, sir, just before we give them the episode guide to Enrico Hi. Dalupan. Hello, uh, Hello. Dalupan B-Tech, Senior High School, Grade 11, Gas. Okay. Hello, Enrico and Anime Gutan and Juara Cordoa from Anislaga wow. National High School. Hello. Alam ko familiar yan sila, di ba? Yung mga mm-hmm. suki natin, Tudor Zen. Yes. Uh, Hello. Been, Hello, uh, children. Hello, children. Yes, Learners. that's right, Sir Jess. Uh-huh. Okay, Chirazen, um, Yes, there you go, Sir Jess. Um, here it is, our dear learners, the, yep, the episode guide from weeks 1 to 8. So this will be our topics, starting from hypertext down to professional correspondence. Yeah. And these are wow. really necessary for our learners to learn, especially um, they, <laughs> they will have to uh, go to the field after um, finishing college or high school. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah. as we all know, no, Tutor Zen, we I, they enjoyed much in our discussions, no, in our ano ito, tutorial during our first quarter by yes, our that's topics, right. no, we discussed, mm-hmm. and also they are now well equipped now to to embrace the new topics that we're going through in our second quarter, and it's more fun because we are going to have another topics that make them ano ito, uh, determined to know about these things because these yeah. are all important no? mm-hmm. uh, in terms of reading and writing precisely sir jess like um they and also sir jess they're not just actually learning they're also um earning something or learning or i mean winning something yeah yes <laughs> out of, from our surprises yes sir okay, jess yes okay so Yes, um, for this afternoon, our dear participants, we are on the hypertext and the intertext. So once again, this is your tutor, Zen, and I am with Tutor, tutor Jess from Tiger yeah. City Division and Tutor Zen from Agusa, from Agusa del, del Sur. Del Sur. Hello. Hello. Hi, Heavenly Hello. Tanghian. And also, mm-hmm. and also Zen, Nicole. Nicole. Yes, Nicole Labriaga. Good mm. afternoon. Watching from Santa Lucia National High School. Nicole is Labriaga. Saan ba itong Lucia Santa Lucia. Lucia. <laughs> I'm not also familiar with... Kadalasan, no? Kadalasan yung mga kaan natin, mga audience from Luzon. Um, Many from Isabella. Visayas. Tsaka, oh yeah, mm-hmm. from me and also from Mindanao. Yes, it's yes. a lot May taga Negros din, sir, <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, yes. So, yung mga mm-hmm. participants natin, so, even, uh, not only in our subjects now, but also the other subjects, if you are very participative, no, in our discussions or in our tutorial, your mm-hmm. schools are, uh, is one of the recognized uh, institutions, no, during our last, no, on a recognition day after mm-hmm. the quarter. Diba, Tutor Zen? Yes, that's right, Sir Jess. The school that would be um, notified or noticed as one of the participating schools, like in the sessions, not only for the reading and writing skills, but also across the subject, yes. Yes, they will be given their recognition. That's yeah. right. And hello, Renz, <laughs> Giver, Kalyanta. Hello, good afternoon. Hi, so, our Hi Renz. Is- Mm-hmm. Yes, sir, Jess. So <laughs> this is now the objectives of our session. What are we going to expect at the end of this? So the first one, yes. our dear learners, it's to define hypertext and intertext. Number two, Number two. identify the key elements of intertextuality. And the third... Number three... Mm-hmm. Determine whether a concept uses hypertext or intertextuality. Like we're going to do that one in act- an activity. And yeah. the last one is adhere to the Number importance four. of hypertext and intertext in daily yes. life. And <laughs> mm-hmm. So more on word, hypertext and intertext tayo dito. Okay? Mm-hmm. That's right, Sir Jess. That's for our I'm so first excited. Oh, yes, to me too, students. Sir Jess. And also, um, um, let's give thanks to this um, division 
uh, schools division offices like um we're using their modules in our as our guide for the session so thank you so much from mm -hmm. negros oriental region for wow. a one and i've also added some bonga peninsula or justice from <laughs> region nine yes yes because, yeah they they have this activity that i really want to to use in this session so let's go so just mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good yeah, afternoon, Lauren Ali Gaspi. <laughs> Hi, good, good afternoon. afternoon. So, yeah, so as what you can see in our screen, our dear participants, this is actually a photo and it's being covered. Now, uh, this yeah. photo, um, this photo contains a photo of someone. She's a famous artist, singer, composer, and so on. <laughs> and yes, later on in our session, we are going to unveil who this artist is but we mm -hmm. we won't yes we will not know who this artist is if we won't be able to get through the tasks sir jess yeah all right okay. yeah, so, so, so meaning to that, say mm -hmm. uh, we must do i need to win our task before we reveal this image or going That's through right, okay so jess yes and i'm sure that everyone loves this figure <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right okay <laughs> so sir jess let's do this all the right. first activity our dear learners prepare your comment sections as we are about to do the first activity this one okay so uh, to our learners all you have to do is to guess the word or the letters in here you try to um what do you call this one wait sir just mm -hmm. okay you try to guess the letters that can be found on the left side by uh, by simply mm -hmm. um, trying to uh, rearrange these letters. Mm -hmm. okay, so yeah. yes, yes, sir, Jess. So um, you're going to guess the words by rearranging the letters. That's simply saying, okay. So we have here the word hypertext. What is the definition of hypertext? Now we have mm -hmm. the first word in here, and it's being jumbled. So to our yes, dear jumbled. Uh -huh. yes, that's right, Sir Jess. They will arrange this one, no? They will arrange. Mm -hmm. That's right, mm -hmm. Sir Jess. What the word first they one, can form? Yes, mm -hmm. using these letters, and we also have this one, Sir Jess, and this words. Okay, so to our okay. dear participants, ano kayang mga words ito? Uh huh. The first, the <laughs> second, the third. By the way, uh, hello. While they are still typing their answers, hello, Lorna yeah. Legaspi from SDL. Hello, Webinar. Lorna. Yes, hello, Lorna. <laughs> Shout out to lahat ng mga taga Palayan City. Okay. Yes, SDL mm -hmm. Annex Palayan City Central mm -hmm. School. <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay, Chiruzen, Jeff. go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can see in here answers like nonlinear. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. What about for the yeah. others? Uh huh. What about the others? Okay, information oh. show. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. 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 Correct. And the last one is we have the word show. Show. Okay. <laughs> Good. Very nice. Yes. <laughs> nice. Okay. So, Enrico, you also got number two and number three correctly. Okay. So. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, Jess. So, using mm -hmm. these words that we have formed in here out from the jumbled letters, we can say that hypertext means uh, non-linear information or it shows a non-linear information so later on we will know what is this non-linear information all about mm. now yeah yes, sir, yes. and let's have this one to our dear learners get ready mm -hmm. okay now these are the letters in here in right side naman tayo sir jess yeah and our dear participants <laughs> will just have to simply rearrange again these letters to form a new word Mm -hmm. What do you hmm. think, our dear participants? Like of okay. the first word, start with um, letter C. Uh huh. Mm. And uh -huh, the uh -huh. next word starts <laughs> with letter B. And oh. the last word starts with letter T. Uh -huh. T, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 uh -huh. 
<laughs> ano kaya ang tamang sagot? Ano okay. kaya ang tamang sagot? Um, kanina, no, naka-answer sila Juara, non, ano yung pagbasa <laughs> Non-real real line or baka uh-huh. linear ito kanya. Non-linear. <laughs> non-linear, yeah, that's okay. That's Then, right. ano mga answers ng ating mga audience? Hello? No, I can see in here, Sir Jess, number one. Hmm. Connection. Good. Sige. Connection. Mm-hmm. Mm. Try natin yung check-in na later. Next. Mm-hmm. Next is... Ano pa? Ano pa mga answers nila? <laughs> uh-huh. Number two, mm-hmm. between good job mm-hmm. and... Um, Okay, number three. so the last one Next. is sex. Yes, that's right. Sir. Yes, yes, that's mm-hmm. it. Nakuha talaga nila kalienta din, no? At mm-hmm. the lupan. Hello! Hello! Hi, <laughs> Hi Renz. Um, yes. Tagasaan ba si Renz at si Enrico? Mm-hmm. Yes, okay. tagasaan tayo. Si Kudua sa inyo, no? Yes. Sa inyo, inyo ito sa Kudua. Probably for the si National Kudua. High School, Sir Jess. Huh? Yes, that's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So there you go. So we have this one. If we're going to combine these words out from the jumbled letters, we can say that uh, intertext means connection between text. Between Hello, Melodin Royeras. Okay, so we have text. Nakuha mo yung number three. All right. Yes. Okay, so there you go, Sir Jess. So ito yung mga sagot kanina, Sir Jess. The hypertext and the intertext. Pag sinabi natin hypertext, it simply means a text which shows a nonlinear information and for the intertext, mm. simply means connection between texts. Now, mm. balik na naman tayo sa image, Sir Jess. Sige. According to Enrico, I have four out of six. Not bad at Ooh. all. Yes! Agree. Pass, Agree, passing Nico. rate, no? Mm-hmm. That's right, yes. Sir Jess. Ah, ah si Rins pala. Ito. Mm-hmm. From Jess. Imelda Integrated <laughs> Secondary School, Malabon. Okay, mm-hmm. hi! Hi, Shout Rins! Shout out sa Malabon! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. And to our dear learners, as what you can see in the screen, our image is slowly unfolding. Hala, sino kaya tong artist na to? Sino kaya ito? <laughs> Sige, para <laughs> man. May tayo kung ma-image. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so just so... Um, we will unveil more about this artist. Yes, of this. Image uh, uh, sino kaya ito? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right, Sir Jess. So this one is like um, the expanded uh, description of hypertext. So when we talk about hypertext, this is a non-linear way to present information and is usually accomplished using links. Non-linear mm-hmm. siya, uh, dear students, in the sense that it doesn't follow the traditional text that you have to read from the beginning, like in the upper portion, and then you have to go through the middle to the end. And so that's linear way of reading. But in the hypertext, yes, so it just, uh, some words in the text are being linked to another information. That's hypertext. So, mm, yeah, so meaning to say it would be hidden, but it is in line with what you are reading. So yes, that's right. just like no, just like that we're doing abasa sa in in a text no that we are mm-hmm. typing or if from the word hypertext so there would be a heading meaning to that or a reading out from that reading so yes, that's if right, we're right, having that's to that. have no if we're having to have a text through ano ito through word or somewhat like. A, uh, a passage that there mm-hmm. would be highlighted that one so there would mm-hmm. be some of a uh, tendency that your reading is uh, having that another reading out from what you are okay what you have read yes sir jess mm-hmm. and to add to that sir jess we're going to show our learners an example of an, yes. a hypertext uh, okay yes. Tingnan yes, natin. Right, okay jess. from out and from then, that hypertext diba and dito nga yun no hyperlink <laughs> Yes, the hyperlinks are just, mm. and yes, the, through links and connections at the same time, sir, just, um, the text is not presented directly, so it would allow the readers to have the chance to create mm. their own meaning of the text, like, yes. what could this text be all about, or what is this word, mm. or what does the word mean, all right, and learn mm-hmm. associatively, like, the learners can make their own connection using the hypertext. Now, let's have tama this example. Ka, tama ka, yes, okay. that's right. Okay, so this is an example of a hypertext. Um, this is taken from uh, from Wikipedia. If yes, uh, we can search this one in Google. So, as what you can see in here, we have the text, 
And we will not be reading this one. We'll just try to open the text that's um, being hyperlinked. Okay. Yeah. So this is the hypertext, for example. So if we're going to click hypotext, the word hypotext is being underlined. Uh -huh. We will be taken to another um, slide or another um, part. Yeah. So that's how yeah. hyperlinks work or hypertext yeah. works. Yeah. So this yeah. is not a definition from clicking the word. Uh -oh. okay. So, mean to say, no, kapag mag-click kayo, uh, kayo, and then, di ba, familiarize naman tayo sa mga hyperlink. So, yung makarelate niyan is yung mga, yes, yung mga grade school uh, mm -hmm. students in a higher level or some of, no, students, no, in high school, no, mm -hmm. natututo na silang mag-click mag ng, mga, ng mga links, di ba? So, somewhat like That's that right there are just... other uh, meanings out of a word, no? Or mm -hmm. ano ba yung click-click nila? No? Yes, so that's that right. what hypertext is all about in connection to a hyperlink. Hyperlink. So, example dito is hypotext. Kuha talaga mm -hmm. ang meaning. Yes, that's right. So Jess, and so much for that. We're back again to this one because you can nick yung um, shape and the, up, yes. the lower portion. Yes. <laughs> so we have in here, so just another um, additional information about hypertext. Um, the World Wide Web is a global hypertext system of information residing on servers linked across the internet. So if we try to um, open our Google Chrome or our Google pages, we will be taken mm -hmm. or we are um, engaging ourselves in a vast, a pervasive world um, hypertext and that's the World Wide Web. Kasi yes. pag in-open natin yung Google Tama. sir, no, ang daming links. Pag open natin, mm. uh, punta ako sa page na to, ayan. So, nakalink na siya to mm. other um, information source. So, that's, mm. uh, World Wide Web is the best example. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also, Sir Jess, um, nowadays, this is not just limited. Um, hypertext is not just limited to text. But also, it is, or it can involve images, audio, and videos that stimulate more senses. Hindi lang siya sa text na focus Sir Jess. Yes. And this uh -oh. is called hypermedia. Mm, okay, <laughs> okay Jess, from the word okay itself, there? yeah. Yes, yeah. from the word media. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right, Sir Jess. Different um, um, objects, different medium. Okay, so mm -hmm. that's for the hypertext. Now, bakit kailangan natin gumamit ng hypertext? For these reasons. First, in a hypertext system, the reader is free to navigate information by exploring the connections provided. Here, hello, Enrico. Yes, I would. Uh, can you share your ice cream to us? <laughs> yes, gugutom din kami, Enrico. Ha? I am eating ice cream before it melts. So, kainin mo na lang yung ice cream mo while you are viewing with us here. <laughs> yes, that's right. And enjoy, Enrico. And also, hypertext is a very different way of presenting information than the useful in your form. That's why I'm and that's what I mentioned earlier. Yes, tama, tama. Yes. And the next one, text no longer flows in a straight line for a book. Instead, it is broken down into many smaller units. Um, um, mm -hmm. To borrow a term from literary criticism, that's lexias. Para ano na, smaller mm -hmm. units na siya. Each so, sinasabi talaga, sinasabi talaga nun, yung ating hypertext is, kwan talaga, from the word itself, ganina, yung sinabi mo na, Ang hypertext is nonlinear. Okay? Mm, that's so the word right, itself so nonlinear. So, hindi mo talaga magkita doon sa ating or a book na you're reading. Mm -hmm. no? Kasi yes, nonlinear siya. Mm -hmm. Parang ano lang, Sir Jessica, parang nakatingin ka sa isang text na talagang short lang, but then mm -hmm. ang dami pala niyang information naka-store, but nakalink yes, lang. Yes, maganda. Yes, maganda mm -hmm. yung hypertext, no? Diba, Chirurzen? So, kaya mm -hmm. nga sinasabi dito na maraming kung... Hindi lamang words, merong audio, merong pang video na mga example. So, sinatawag na siyang hypermedia. Hypermedia, yes. That's what I suggest. And also, okay, another one, aside from hypertext, is we have this, what we call the intertext. Mm -hmm. And intertext is one method of text development that enables the author to make another text based on another text. It mm. happens when some properties of an original text are incorporated in the text that is created by another ah, author. Okay. Uh -huh, that's so right this is related, Mom, because I'm so, uh, I'm so, 
uh, ano to, makarelate talaga ako nito kasi we're having with our research. And one of them is doing the RRL. And we are about to have, ano familiar ito sa mga sudyante, even sa mga junior or senior high school, no? They're having with the qualitative and quantitative research. research. No? So, out from your topic, you will read a lot, no? From a lot, no? Readings or journals, researches, related researches. Then out mm-hmm. from the same, oh, ha? the same or ano ito, uh, ano ito, uh, similar yung okay. mga concept ninyo, no? Na pwede mm. nating pagkuana ng datus o yung dara, mm-hmm. no? In yeah. other terms that they have this the same. And then, from the word, it's an author to make another text based on another text. So, mm-hmm. that would be one of the examples, ma'am, no? Then yes, that's right, it. Sir Jess. Actually, Sir Jess, um, the intertext, the idea of intertext um, is anchored mm-hmm. to the concept of, of, let's just say, um, um, nowadays, kasi, Sir Jess, yung information, uh, yung information, it doesn't start in a scratch. Like, mm-hmm. yung information Mama. natin, kinukuha natin, from or we can be inspired or we can get this information from other sources so that is why para ano siya ba sir just um hindi tayo nakakabuo mm-hmm. ng idea natin na talagang original sa atin kasi lahat mm-hmm. ng idea na na formulate natin we can we are uh, these are all inspired from other mm-hmm. information uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So, so mean to say, there will be oh, there be a, an anchor no to that information. Na kina ginakuan lang siya, gina gina expound, and there would be a, a, a ano ito a dynamic no dynamic information out from the idea. So mm-hmm. magagamit din yan, pero uh, dapat talaga no yun sa uh, sa research naman may kinalaman da yung plagiarism. So kinakalan yes, din natin magig original, cakak magiging ano ito. No, mm-hmm. ano yung mga yes. uh, opinion para sa atin? Oh, not mm-hmm. opinion but the idea itself na objective. Yes, sir Jess. We can ha- we can actually um elicit or we can actually give or share some ideas out from that text mm-hmm. based ating understanding dun sa nabasa natin, yes, sir Jess. Out from the text that we have sure. borrowed. Yes, and also, sir Jess, you mentioned earlier about plagiarism. And mm-hmm. for um, for us to avoid plagiarism or committing plagiarism, uh, there are ways or methods in the intertext that we can use para safe yes. tayo makakommit niyan. Tama. Okay, so we have here the four specific methods, namely uh, retelling, quotation, allusion, and pastiche. Mm-hmm. All right. Aha, so ano tong mga apat na methods na to? Now, our dear learners, ito na. We have here the task number two, it's a match. Now, sa ating mga learners, itong, ito yung gagawin nyo. You just have to match the definition in column B to the methods in column A. Then you choose the letter of the correct answer. So you just simply type the letter of the correct answer in the comment section. Okay, so column B, makikita yung meaning. Sa column A naman yung methods. Ready na bang lahat? Ready ka na, Sir Ready, Jess? ready na. Ready, mm-hmm. ready na to resent. Go. Yes, yeah, so let's start, Sir Jess. This one. Uh-huh. So, mm-hmm. ano kaya okay. answer nila dito? All right, mm-hmm. yes, sir, Jess. So we have here our dear learners. Number one, we're telling to quotation, free allusion, and four pastiche. Now, what could be from this column? The methods in column A, number one, we're telling which uh, do you think, uh, which meaning do you think from the column B coincides or um, is appropriate to retelling? Is it letter yeah. A? <laughs> yes. Is it letter B, C, or D? Our D. dear learners, uh, number one, we're telling. Like a number, and, number. <laughs> mm-hmm. And by the way, Sir Jess, uh, nag shares si Enrico dito, hypertext is text which contains links to other texts. Mm, yes. Yes. Thank you, ano, Enrico. Yes, Simplify niya yung okay. understanding oh. niya. Uh-uh. So we have in here, we're telling... Quotation. So okay, you can start from the word one. itself, no? Retell. Mm-hmm. Retelling. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So so ano okay, ano let's dito try. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can see now in here, Serges, it's letter C. Okay. okay, so we have Renz B. B daw, number one. Tingnan natin, Chirur. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Ah, tama. Number one, yes, you got it correctly. Rens, it's letter B. Retelling means the restatement of a story or re-expression Re of an Ama. idea. Yes. Parang ano, you, you just simply state again the story yeah. that you have learned or the, you have read. Good job. Yes. Number two, uh, you have answers in here from in okay. Enrico. Enrico. Enrico B. is letter C the number one. But mm -hmm. what about number two? Um, I'm mm -hmm. Enrico. Uh, quotation you have number a good two. Idea, no? Quotation. Yes. Idea. Okay. Tingnan natin ha kung ano ba yung tamang mm -hmm. sagot. According naman kay Jose, it's letter B. Number For one number one. B. And you so got, got number correctly, two. Jose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's try to number check two, number then. two. Okay. Pag For number two, we have... It should be... Exact. Yeah. From, yeah, doon. Exact statement. Wala tayong dinadagdag, wala tayong kinukuha, but exact na exact talaga, children said. Yes, that's right, Sir Jess. Especially, uh, for example, yung sinabi mo earlier, Sir Jess, na gumagawa ka ng research, then um, there is that uh, phrase or words that you don't want the meaning to change if you're going to borrow it. So just simply yes. use cognition. Uh -huh. uh, so that you can retain natural. the original meaning and yes yes and congrats Renz mm -hmm. and Jose Angelo and Jose. yes that's right <laughs> number three Sergi Sergi <laughs> okay I don't know ano 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 <laughs> it's never been late. Sige lang, kasali ka pa rin. Late, never <laughs> Pwede namang ma-review yung mm -hmm. ating session, no? Sa lahat That's ng right, mga nanonood, mm -hmm. sa ka mga, merong mga mahinang signal, no? Sa ating internet, pwede lang mm -hmm. ma-review ito at replay. Replay team! Uh -huh. Yes, there is Sir Jazz. Uh -huh. <laughs> and yes, um, and uh -huh. Most of our learners also, Sir Jess, got the correct answers. That's it. Yes, tama. So in this method, the writer or speaker explicitly or implicitly pertains to an idea or passage found in another text without the use of quotation. So it's okay. um it's almost the same with a uh, quotation, but the difference but, is that you. Yes, as what I have. Ano, Sir this Jess, is not I'm, direct. Yata. Uh oh, mm -hmm. hindi direct. Uh, Kasi it could be direct. It is. Uh oh, kasi in quotation talaga is masasabi talaga natin exactly, no? Na sinasabi mm -hmm. talaga ng isang author. Ng author, yes, that's right, Sir Jess. And also additional information, Sir Jess, as what I had um read, allusion actually don't. Uh, if you're using allusion, you do not have to explain the meaning of the idea that you have taken, mm -hmm. so the reader can have the, the can have the idea immediately that you are referring. Uh, you are referring your text to something like for example if i would say it's better to have loved than to have not loved at all so ah, the readers can okay. actually get the idea or just that oh mm. he's pertaining to lord alfred tennyson the quote from lord alfred yes tennyson. <laughs> yes that's and that's for allusion mm -hmm. uh -uh. even and though for they, the they have the no quotation no from the quotation, yes, sir, quotation yes. mark Mm -hmm, that's right, Sir Jess. And the last one is the pastiche. Okay, so... Ano pastiche! Ano Naiwan pastiche? natin is letter... <laughs> C. Letter C. So, yes. Mm -hmm, so it is a text developed in a way that it copies the style or other properties of another text without mm. making fun of it, unlike in a parody. Mm. So, ano siya? Okay. So we have in here, Sir Jess... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yes. Na ako, Sir Jess, ha? <laughs> okay, so right. meaning to say this is a text, no? Develop the way that copies the style or properties of another text. So meaning to say there would be imitation, there will be a copy of the style. Mm -hmm. That's how it suggests. Mm -hmm. But not in a parody. Like, for example, the Ten Commandments. We have that one from the Bible, and then you make Ten Commandments of Marriage. Uh, that's an example of this okay. dish, yes. So we have yes. in here, oh, congratulations, Jose Angelo, four over four, Renz, four over four. Okay, so Enrico, yes, you can. Yes, you can Enrico, out. yes, Enrico, congratulations, ha? Yes. Or next Tuesday on, okay. Babawin Sige lang, lang yes, next Tuesday. <laughs> Wala, yes, no worries, Enrico. Enrico, Enrico, Enrico. Yeah, so also, Good Sir Jess, 
Mm -hmm. We have here the questions that we can use to validate if we have the mm -hmm. intertext or intertext. if we're using intertext. Number one, just uh, remember this, our dear learners. Number one question, are there two or more stories involved? So uh, yes. you can say that inter gumamit siya ng intertext pag nakita mong dalawang story na na doon sa text. Mm -hmm. Another is, does Tama. the text show a direct or indirect connection to another piece of work? Uh, connected ba siya to another piece of work? Like, are, are yes. the, the work familiar? <laughs> Kasi na-encounter na, na mo okay. na yung original. Yes. Example for this yeah. one, Sir Jess, is Frankenstein by Mar Mary Shelley is a horror novel. Novel. It is also called yes. the modern Prometheus <laughs> because it is believed okay. to be inspired by the story of Prometheus found in Greek. Yes. Uh, uh, so, tama so, ano, yan tama yung, yung mga kriteriya natin. Yan yung mm -hmm. mga kriteriya natin. Masasabi natin to validate intertext. Mm -hmm. So sabi ni Jose, oh, ano to, bukas po meron o oh, bukas pa. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, always ito, always ito, yung ating mga ginagawa na session, no? Uh -huh. uh, ito, every day. Pwede uh -huh. kayong ma-review. Mm -hmm. ma mm -hmm. Yes, sir, Jazz. And okay, to our Jen. learners, yes, balik tayo sa Ante email. Na lang. Yes, nag-unveil na siya, sir, Jazz. Bukha na lang. I think our Gusto learners... Bukha na lang. Yes. I think <laughs> Ikaw, siguro yan, Churu Zen. Hello, oy. Ang ganda na. Ang ganda ko naman, sir, Jazz. <laughs> okay. So, oh, there yeah. you go. Sige, sa ito yung mm -hmm. learners, uh, get ready kasi mayroon pa tayong task number three and it's good. Identify. Mm -hmm. Hi, then if I can mm. say, I to Sir Jesse. Ito yung directions. <laughs> Below are some descriptions of different stories. You're right, mm -hmm. I, our dear learners in the comment section, if the context of each story is in intertext, write mm. H if it is in hypertext. If it is in hypertext. Hala. So, I mean to say, I for intertext, intertext. and H for hypertext. hypertext. Okay, let's get ready, our dear participants. Go, Let's go, go, Jose. Uh -huh. Number one. Okay. Snow, Glass, mm -hmm. Apples is a short story by Neil Gaiman. This piece tells the story of Snow White from the point of view of her stepmother who was actually trying to save the kingdom from her bloodthirsty stepdaughter. Step Number one. Yes. What Number is one, our participants. What do you think? Is it H? Like, get it in number, I. Siguro, Churuzen, no? Ah. How about number two? Churuzen. Mm -hmm. Wicked by Gregory Maguire revolves around the story of the Wicked Witch of the West from Frank Baum's The Wizard of Oz and reimagines her as the misunderstood protagonist, Alphaba. Mm -hmm. Our, our dear readers, <laughs> remember the criteria earlier that we have given yes. the connections. Yes. my dalawang story ba in the text. Mm -hmm. Oh, indication niyan ng the ano. Inter Number text. three, mm -mm. Fast Inter City text. by John Bosco is an interactive narrative which presents a set of conflicts and psychological landscapes placed within a psychology, uh, technology obsessed urban space. Mm -hmm. okay. And we have answer in here already, sir. Just from yes! Enrico Jose Angelo. Uh -huh. So we have from Enrico number Hyper one H two I. 3H, hypertext. Intertext and 3H, mm. yes. And for Jose Angelo, one hypertext, two intertext. Mm. Okay. Congrats. So let's try to Intertext is number one, chaka two is hypertext. Tingnan natin, Chiru Zen, ano mga answers nito? Let's check your answers. That's intertext. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, there you go. <laughs> and Jose Angelo and Renz. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh -huh, yes, that's I. Hi. Hi, mm -hmm. Jersey. Hello, Jersey. How are you? Good, good I to see you in you here, Jersey. <laughs> so we have. Okay. Always. Yeah. Oh, like <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Elementary student, but. but <laughs> yes. <laughs> Learning the high school uh -huh. subjects, especially in English. Uh -huh. Hi, Jersey. Sorry. Okay. Jersey, I, I, H. H. Tama. Uh -oh. I, I, yung one and two, kasi, as what we can observe in here, my dalawang stories mentioned in the text. Mm. In the number siya. three, yes, sir, just they mm. are uh, being connected to one another. Yung number mm, yes, three, that. naman, is ano, hyperlink lang siya, kasi, it's. We cannot really see a text that is being compared to the fast uh, uh, city mentioned in here. Mm, uh, uh. So, yes. kaya hypertext lang siya. We could say na yung fast city, <laughs> nakalink siya dun sa, ano, sa other source of information. 
Mm. According to Jose, no, two over three. And Enrico, one got two and out of three. Ah, okay lang man. Wala na problema oh, oh. yan. That's not bad. It's just oh, practice, oh. no? Practice. Mm-hmm. Identifying Basta, tignan lang nila, no? So, more mm-hmm. on talaga yun. More related uh, readings yung ating intertext na masabi natin mm-hmm. na makikita mo talaga sa isang Okay, sa isang statement na talaga, oh, makita mo dito, so merong gi-compare ng mga statements. Oh, oh, yes. Merong dalawang stories na kinoconnect, mm-hmm. Sir Jazz. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. oh. So congratulations, our dear learners, yes. and there you go. Yes. Hello. Hello. Alam ko na. Lolly and Billing, parang may idea na tayo, no? <laughs> Chiller Zen, <laughs> siguro oh, yan. Chiller Zen. Parang ako yan, Sir Jazz. Oh, Chiller. <laughs> Girls, 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 we have the assessment in mm. here. Yes, for your learners, ah. get ready again to check your understanding. Okay, number okay, one. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Letter of the correct answer lang, our dear participants, to come to type in your comment section. Number mm. one, the new text that is formed using intertext has blank, borrowed, or imitated from the original text. Uh, okay, okay. what is your answer? answer? <laughs> Ano binabarrow natin from the original text yes. search kapag ginagamit yung intertext. Mm-hmm. Is it A location, B language? Mm. Ano kaya ang sagot mo? Ano yung sagot? Oo. Oh, oh. Or ano yung sagot okay. ng ating mga learners? Aha, uh-huh. I can see in here sir just letter. Okay, D, D according to Enrico. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Reveal nga natin. Check. Tingnan! Letter B. Yes. B lang. Yung talagang binabaro natin. natin. Mm. Hindi location, text. context, meaning uh-huh. time. Tama. Number two. Number two. This one. Which of the following text does not allow intertextuality to occur? Sandito yung occur. walang intertextuality. Yes. Okay. Is it A, an illusion? B, originality? B, originality. C, quotation? Mm-hmm. C, or, C, retelling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Di ano kayo yung tamang sagot? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes. Ano kayo yung tamang sagot nito, no? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Our dear learners, saan kaya dito yung di na mention na method earlier? Uh-huh. Tignan natin, learners, yes. according to Juara, letter C. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tignan natin. Mm-hmm. Letter okay. C. Letter C, bachelor Z. Oh, 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 dapat mag- uh, mag-eliminate tayo. Mag-eliminate tayo. <laughs> yung mga hindi kinidiscuss kanina. Oh oh, ano na nila? Listen natin. Kung na-discuss, yung wala dito. Okay, yung okay, let's... not oh, not allow intertextuality to occur. Mm-mm. Okay, siya lang ang naiiba diyan. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Kasi kanina mayroon Sige, tayo. Sige, Chiller Zen. Yeah, so Uh-oh. there it goes for just for number two. That's B. Thank you, Letter B. Oh, oh. Diba? Andun yung kanina yung allusion. Andun yung kanina yung quotation. Andun yung kanina yung retelling. Oh, oh. At saka Tapos yung... Tapos nawala si pastiche dito. Pastiche. Re- okay. Yes. Replace diba? the originality. So, si originality <laughs> yung hindi kasali. Okay. Di ba sinasabi nga yung pastiche? Yung, yung mm. tinay na to make a katu sa style. Oh. Uh, oh. Mm. The style or of... properties oh. of the other text. Mm-mm. Oh, ayan. Sige, okay, lang yan, in, number three. Aha, let's go to number three. It is a text developed in a way that copies the style or other properties of another text without making fun of it. Unlike a parody. Unlike a parody. Oh, na-mention ko kanina. <laughs> habol po ako. Yes, Rins, mm. habol ka, no? Oh, oh. Ito talaga ang ating challenge, no? Yung itong internet connection. But, uh, yes, you have your idea. <laughs> Thank you so mm-hmm. much. Uh-huh. Okay, according and, to Enrico, it's letter D daw. Letter mm, D daw, okay. Chiru Zen. Letter D. So, ano to siya? Closer, Jess. Na-mention na example dito is the Ten Commandments. Oh, Kamo, na-mention ko na! Me from the Bible. Yes, sir, Jess. <laughs> na-mention mo na din. Na-mention uh-huh. ko na! Oh, my God! I will try to guess. See na ng signal. Pabalik-balik na, lang pabalik ako. Balik okay, Rosel. Oh, okay lang yan, Rosel. Rosel. Okay, okay na okay talaga, okay. Rosel. Uh-huh. Okay? Kasi, pwede nyo ma-replay ito. Okay? Huwag mabahala. Uh-huh. Kasi oh. kami ang gagawin <laughs> para para mak- kita nyo kami ulit. Okay. okay. Ano kaya yeah, tapos sagot right, number three? Ano Chiru sagot Zen? number three? So, ito yun, no? Our Tentra dear na. listeners. Kabago-bago ko lang sinabi, <laughs> di ba? Pastish. Uh, uh, Style or other yeah. properties of Lisa another text. Of other text. Uh, Pero hindi siya katulad oh, ng parody. Oo. So uh, uh, okay. Yeah, number four. <laughs> 
This okay, method this... of text development allows writers to produce texts which borrowed with borrowed ideas from other writers. Alam oh, tawag sagot na. niyan. Discussion kanina oh, ni Tutor Zen. Yes, that's why I suggest. <laughs> Alin dito sa options na to yung nagbabarrow ka ng idea mm, from other yeah. texts so that you can produce your own. A, hypertext. B, intertext. C, context. Or D, concept. Nagbarrow ka ng idea, ha? Okay. Yung so sagot have... ni Russell, naghabol siya. It's letter C. Letter C. C. No. Okay, okay, thank you so much, Russell, for your idea. So, Enrico naman is letter A, hypertext. Hmm, tingnan lang mm-hmm. natin kung tamang sagot tingnan pa natin si Ruzan. Ka- <laughs> oh, it's letter, letter B. B. Oh, oh, yeah. And Jose, Jose Angelo. Tamang, tamang, Jose. That's Got the right it. answer. Very good. Jose so, meaning to say, okay, borrowed. So, meaning to say, kanina, mm-hmm. sinasabi natin yung mga stories. Oo, oh, um, oh, na kinukuha natin yung idea. For example, Rinse. yung sign. Oo, oh, oh, yeah. Congrats. Rinse, also got it correctly. Next. Yes, number Last five, Sir Jazz. Yes, Sir Jazz. Mm. Number Sige, five. Sige, mm-hmm. James Joyce James? used him. Okay, Sir Jazz. Go on. Go. Okay. Chirizen, go. Okay, James Joyce used the modern context of the Odyssey in his very famous novel, Ulysses. It is an example of a or N hmm. blank. A hyperlink. <laughs> ano kaya yung sample nito? The analysis or the context. Number five. <laughs> oh, we have it. Nico D. Okay. Alin dito? Na-mention to, di ba, mm. kanina, Sir Jess? Oh, mm. Alin dito yung hypertext? Alin so, dito yung hindi sila isa? Mawala. Mm, hindi sila mawala sa ating discussion kasi yun ang mga mm. discussions natin. Yun ang ating focus. Mm-hmm. Oo. Oh, oh. uh, we have answers. Let's letter D daw. Uh, from <laughs> Renz, we have B. Okay, let's B. try yes, to B. check B. your answers. Oh, Jose Go, Angelo Chirizen! Yes! <laughs> mm-hmm. Intertext, that's right. Okay, intertext. Uh, 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 yung content Diyan ng The Odyssey oh. inspired from Ulysses. Mm. Yes. Yun, so intertext yan. Uh-oh. Okay, so nating mga yeah, learners, you can comment your, your scores. Mm. Okay, sa, lahat, <laughs> sa ating assessment. Okay, you, mm. you got it correctly. It? Okay, okay. Mm. very good. Yeah, it's your idol <laughs> and our idol. Ah, <laughs> uh, mm. sino siya? Sino siya? Learners. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Our dear learners, sino siya? It's okay. okay. From the image that we covered earlier. Mm. Yes, ito, ito na yung ano, Sir Jess, yung image. And this okay. is uh, Taylor Swift. And as uh, as what we know, Taylor Swift is a famous singer, songwriter. Mm. And dami niyang talent, Sir, Sir Jess. Yes. And, oh, oh. <laughs> Pero yung question natin, Sir Jess, is bakit nandito si Taylor Swift? Anong ginagawa mo dito, Taylor? <laughs> Uh-huh. Yes. So, yan, tama sila, Russell. Tama sila, Enrico. Tama sila, Renz. Mm. So, Do you sinasabi also nila kayo, get none of the answers. Okay, so it's okay naman, okay Chirosa, na. no? Kasi oh, it's oh. a mastery of the knowledge and skills. Pwede lang ma-review mm. and they Pwede can have re-review. another exercises. So, another exercise mm-hmm. because we still have assignment. Then, mm. they will go and have to review about our topic because they will enhance their skills in that. Yes, sir, just that's right. So okay, there you go. Okay, Jerusalem, kinalaman ni Enrico ha. Taylor Swift. Oh, ano kinalaman ni Taylor Swift sa lahat ng mga pangyayaring ito, sir, just. Okay. Actually, um to our dear learners, I know that you heard already her song Love Story. Ikaw, sir, just, mm-hmm. have you heard? Yes, Love Story? yes. Yeah. It's oh, oh. very good. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. It's a good song. And actually the song Love Story is a- applying intertextuality. Like um, mm. the the content of the love story, the the story flow is inspired from the novel of William Shakespeare, which is Romeo and Juliet. And Juliet. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yes, yes her that song would be there. Okay, iyan ba yun mga addition activity nila, Chiru Zen? Oo, oh, oh, uh-huh. ayan, Sir Jess. So, ano na, kinanek ko lang si Taylor dito. And congratulations mm. kasi umabot tayo dito kasi sa punto na na-meet natin si Taylor Swift. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, oh. Kapatid ko nga pala siya. So, ani, ganito siya, <laughs> our dear learners. Hindi. Uh, uh, love story, Romeo and Juliet. Yes, Rosel. My intertextuality dun sa kanyang kanta. Okay. Uh, uh. So no, there you go, sorry. our dear learners. This is now your task, and we will feature your output in our next session. Yes. Oh, oh. Go. Take a screenshot of this, our dear learners. Mm. Kasi ito yung gagawin nyo. 
uh, you can submit or you can post in Dep Ed Ito Lai group a video recording mm. of you singing the song, this song, this one, the, the one that you can see in the Supplies box. Supplies learning of hypertext and intertextuality. And intertextuality. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. So, kayo ang bahalang magtono niyan as long as it follows someday, the tune someday by Nina. Nina. Okay. Uh, uh. Sir Jess, uh, yes, oh, yeah. And You're our... gonna realize, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we Ayan. will um, reward the learner that can post their video recording singing yes. this song. Wow. Yes, from Nina. Uh, uh. So, go. abangan namin kayo, Rosel, Jose Angelo, Renz, Enrico. Uh, we will await for your <laughs> video for the yes, outputs. Hindi siya kailangan maganda yung gut. Hindi niya kailangan perfect yung... As long as you yung... have the... Uh -uh. Uh -uh, sir, Jess. The so most important there... is the content, no? The content and the... <laughs> ano ito? Insight uh -uh. nila. <laughs> uh -uh. Para ma-internalize nila yung ano, Sir Jess, kakalagahan uh -uh. ng hypertext and intertext. Hypertext. Wala po ba? Go to her! <laughs> okay, there you go. Yes, Wala po ba mabamba? <laughs> Natawa ako dun, Sir Jess. <laughs> Okay. Cheers uh, and uh, go. So, All right. Yun ha, yun learners. Ha. Abangan mm. namin yan. So, this ends our session for this afternoon, Sir Jess. So, sa ating mga mm. learners, I will leave you with this saying uh, that we are just travelers in the lane of love and learning. Down the road, we will surely meet again. Ah, yes. Yan, sir yes. <laughs> yes. Tama uh, ka, Cheers and Zen. So, uh, then according to Vivek Madlani, ha? Never stop learning because life never stops teaching. Yeah. Mm. So, thank you, Zen. Uh, uh, so, our dear learners, you can also submit in our Facebook messengers or in our email your video recording. Kung ayaw niyong i-post yes. muna sa Dep Edito Live Group. Oh, post na kayo, Rin, mm. Rosel. Hello. Yes. <laughs> nice to meet you ulit too, tayo makikita, Rosel. ha? So, next uh, uh. Tuesday, same time, ha? Uh, uh. Same place or same mm -hmm. platform. Ito lang sa show. Yes, sir, Jess. Philippines. And, uh, this is uh, uh. Tutor Jess. And this is Shooter Zen. Do not forget, yes. forget, forget, forget our dear learners. The next session for the speech class, and that's with Shooter DJ. Nice to meet you all. Sa lahat ng mga nakasama yes. natin sa session nito. God, mabuhay guys, senior high school and reading mabuhay. and writing skills. Mm -mm, mabuhay tayong lahat. Yes. Bye bye. See you. See you. Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalisa dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!